I'm an IT administrator who's been tasked with migrating some site collections from SharePoint 2010 to SharePoint 2016, and to do that, I'm going to use Docav Migrator. I'm going to do this because using Docav Migrator, I can move individual site collections, or even by web application, rather than the traditional database detach and reattach. In Docav Migrator, I'm going to select Online Migration because my two environments can see each other. And when I go in here, on the left, I'll see my potential sources, 2007, 2010, and 2013. And on the right, 2010, 2013, 2016, and SharePoint Online are my potential destinations. Now, as it happens, I've already created a plan, but after some meetings, I've decided to go in and make some changes to this plan. When I open up the existing plan in my plan manager, I can see that originally I had all, everything selected in one of my web applications. And I might want to consider whether I want to move just some of these site collections or all of them. And when I choose these, I can select whether or not to bring over the security properties or the property bag. I can do those independently. I also have options here for promoting or demoting sites. So I can move multiple site collections into an existing site collection in the destination. However, we have decided that we are going to move all of these site collections from the source into a single web application on the destination. In our meeting, one of the questions that came up was whether or not we wanted to bring over all of the old content from the old environment. And the decision that was taken was that we wanted to exclude all documents that were older than a year. So to do this, I'm going to use a filter policy. Now, filter policies can be reusable objects, or I can create a new one if I need to. If I look at what I've already created in this 2010 to 2016 New World profile, I can see that I've set a simple rule that says any document that was last accessed more than a year ago is going to be excluded. Now, I can add additional criteria to this, and I can also set criteria at a higher level. Now that I've set up my filter policies, I can go in and look at my settings for this plan. And there's a couple of things. So the main thing I want to do here is I want to put this on a schedule. And when I do that, I can actually put this onto a, both a full and an incremental migration schedule. The full migration means that on a given date, I'm going to start the full migration of my entire contents. And when I do this, I'm just going to set this at an interval of one. Just it's going to only run the one time. And once I set my date, I can go ahead and save this. And this can be the first schedule that I run, a nice full migration. Next, I'm going to go back in, and I'm going to run an incremental migration. So in this case, I'm going to get all, all of my content owners two weeks to validate that everything came over correctly. And my incremental migration is going to run two weeks later and just capture everything that has changed within that two-week period. So I don't have to move everything twice. I can move everything once, have it validated, and then a week, two weeks later, come back and only move the things that have changed in that time. Now all I have to do is save my plan and let it run as scheduled. For more information about Docav Migrator, visit www.appoint.com and request your free trial or a demonstration today.